Hey guys, this is Riding Mountain Gamer. <coughs> Coming back at you with another episode of Farming Simulator 2017, and we're back on our Goldcrest Valley Let's Play. And we're going to continue on from what we were doing last episode. Um, last episode, we had uh, <coughs> we were working on this first bunker here, so I finished that first bunker off. Now we're working on the second bunker full of silage, which I've started a bit already. So we'll be working on... Um, Selling that silage about halfway through, we're going to go clean up the ca the sheep pen a bit so their productivity stays high. And then the plan is to um, let the sunflowers grow. And then when the sunflowers have fully grown, we'll sell uh, all the wool that we have on a great demand. And then sell our combine. No, hopefully I have enough money for a new spanking, brand new spanking combine. So... We'll get going here. Um, on hauling the silage to the bunker. So, I uh, recorded last episode yesterday. Today, not too much new. I don't just want to had only have started a new semester of school here this week, so I only have two classes in the morning now. Um, so I yeah I did that and I hung out with my girlfriend for a bit, and then I came home and me and my dad fed the cows, and then I've just been. Working on my good old YouTube channel. Recording some videos, making videos, you know, the usual. In fact, we need a weight on the back of this JCB almost. This semester, my only classes are, um, I got English Literary first, and then <coughs> Metal second. And I'm um, actually, well, I j already tried dropping English and taking, uh, Construction. But the Construction instructor kind of said, well, I got a nice size class right now, because they, they make groups and they work on it, so he said he's got three groups of three so they didn't really want to take me so I was like ah well I don't know whatever I guess it's not that big a deal and so I thought well maybe I'll go into essentials math because I really don't want to take ELA literary because it's a harder course and I'm sick of all these hard courses that I took last semester and I want to get a job so I don't want to be dealing with homework all the time when I'm trying to run a YouTube channel and a job and and hockey as well. So I'm tried draw. I thought about taking essentials math, which is pretty easy, and but it's good too because it's like life skills with money. But the, I had no friends in that one, so I was just like, well, I don't know. I don't want to take that all by myself because all my friends are in literary or in woodworking. So, I don't know. Tomorrow's the last day to change classes. I might... I was waiting on woodworking because there was one guy that was thinking about dropping out. And then there's a few other sketchy guys in there. They're there that... Blah blah blah. There that uh, it's debatable whether they'll show up for class most of the time. So, I don't know. Tomorrow I might try to get the... The gu uh, guidance counselor said if I really wanted, she could put me in it. Because she actually wanted me to do that. She wanted me to just put me in it. But I don't know. It's tough to say. Tomorrow I might try force issue. I don't really want to though. Because then the instructor's going to be like, I told you that uh, I didn't want you in here. And now you're just in here because you got the principal to do it for you. Like that would be kind of awkward. 
but at the same time I want to learn about woodworking so I can kind of build my own stuff someday just small projects but I still haven't found a job yet but the, I'm pretty nervous for tomorrow as well because uh, I actually have an interview with the place where I want to work. I want to work at a <coughs> it's like a construction company and be a heavy duty you got, I think I've told you guys I want to be a heavy duty power mechanic and I've been accepted to go to college for the next two years uh, to learn to be a heavy duty mechanic but I wouldn't mind getting a job beforehand so I can you know learn a little bit before I go to school which I mean I know a decent amount already but learn a little bit before I go to school and uh, also to make some money So uh, there's this big construction company around here called uh, Ready Mix, which I am going to an interview for tomorrow. So I don't know. I feel like they're not really looking to hire. But I mean, worst thing that happens they s they say no, we're not looking to hire. We don't want to hire you, and I find another job somewhere else that I can work for for the rest of the semester and summer, and then next summer, and then when I'm done going to college to be a heavy duty mechanic they should I should easily get on then and it's not like I was going to be making more money there anyways you're gonna when you start off as apprenticing you just make you know minimum wage you don't make the big bucks right off the bat so the other job I was thinking Actually, it's right across the road, highway from Ready Mix is a. Uh, it's a equipment dealer, mostly Case IH equipment dealer, and they need like a yard guy, so a guy that kind of cleans the yard, washes the equipment, moves the equipment around the yard if it needs to be, just sort of like a, almost like a janitor of a, dealer. So. Might uh, oops. Might go apply for that tomorrow as well, like right after, if if uh, Ready Mix doesn't sound like it's gonna work. And I mean, if you apply at two places at once, you if you get both, then you just gotta pick one, which would be that's not a bad situation to have at all. See, so yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I've when my mom first told me, she was like, yeah, you got an interview tomorrow, I was like, I got butterflies right away, but now it's like, you know, why be nervous, because it works out, it works out, <coughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like th it's the end of the world. You're still going to have plenty of opportunity after college to find a heavy duty mechanic kind of job somewhere, and, I mean... It's just going to be a, a minimum wage job to start off with, so it should be pretty easy to find another minimum wage job somewhere around here. That actually, that yard thing would be that'd be pretty sick. That'd be fun, I think. Wouldn't be too overly hard. Get to be around the equipment, maybe learn a little bit. Have I told you guys about my ticket yet? I kind of think I told you about my ticket. I definitely didn't tell you last episode. I'll wait. I'll wait till after. We'll go clean the cow pasture right now. And then when, we, when I'm loading again, I'll tell you guys about it. I'm just going to take a... Um... 
Oh, I had to reset this guy because he got freaking stuck. I told you guys that. Uh, where's our T6? Right here. Okay, let's drop the forks. I wonder if our sheep thing's changed. Like, our it's gone back to the way it should be. <coughs> okay, yeah, it has. Um, the cleanliness needs to be clean. They're good for hanging grass. New animal in seven hours. Reproduction rates right about around a day, which is good. How much liters of wool do I have? 461. 20. That's pretty decent. Our water guy needs to be filled up, I believe, but. Look how messy that grass is. Just so messy. Ah, oh, frick. Is it freaking flipped weird? What the heck? Oh, it is. Oops, no, no, other way, other way. There we go. That's a pole. Actually, that yard, that yard guy job might, it might pay me more than the mechanic job. Picking up all that grass loots. Frick me. Okay, yeah, that should be good. That should be right dandy. Detach. Detach. Okay, so I'll tell you about this uh, ticket story I got now. So, this was, what day would have this have been? Monday? I think it was Monday. And today's Friday, so it was a few days ago. It's like we had I had hockey practice from eight till nine. So I went to hockey practice. And then I was just gonna go right home after hockey because my girlfriend was working. But my buddy wanted to go play the slots. So I was like, okay, cool, but I gotta go take out some money, because I don't like to... Well, there is an ATM right at the bar, but you have to, to pay, like, the $3 fee or whatever <coughs> to take money out. <coughs> so I was gonna just go to my bank and take money out, which is literally just, like, three blocks over from the rink and one block up. So I'm leaving the... 
so no what happened the like ah uh, it's just i can't believe the way it happened so whatever me and my buddy are dilly dallying we're the last guys out of the rink we get into the parking lot and we talk for a bit and whatever i'm like okay well i guess i'll go grab some money now and meet you back in front of the rink rink because that's where the vlts are uh so i went and usually the first turn out of the parking lot of the rink i usually take a left there and then go on the main street where and then down to the bank but this time i decided to go straight down up kind of like you know like the back road of town not i don't know not like it's not like a back alley but it's not like the main road of the town it's just kind of down the back there so i go two blocks over and i'm turning on to another street that will take me to main street and i like i stop and i look both ways but i don't come to a complete stop and there's this cop a block down turning on to main street from the other side so i don't know he i didn't really think he could see me i didn't really think i did anything wrong anyways because i literally looked both ways and almost came to a full stop and I was behind a building, so I don't know how he seen me in the first place. But I get to Main Street, and I'm turning on the Main Street, and this cop just freaking watching. Well I just I'm sitting waiting to turn on the Main Street, street and this cop whips right around. So I'm I'm about to turn right, and he's going left, but he's you can see he's coming close to me, like he's cutting me off, like I can't even turn on the Main Street. So he drives up beside me. He's like, "Oh, I need you to pull over. We uh, someone blew an intersection back there." So I was like, okay, uh, whatever. So I pulled to the side on Main Street, drove out on the Main Street, and then pulled to the side, and the cop came, and he's like, uh, license and registration, please. Never even, like, never even told me why he pulled me over, really. I mean, he had told me, but he didn't tell me it was me. I knew it was me, because there was no one else there, but I didn't think I'd really done anything wrong. So then... He went and did that, took forever, and came back with a freaking ticket. I literally didn't say a word to the the cop the whole time he was talking about the ticket to me. He didn't tell me what it was for. He just said, you know, like, this is how you can pay it, and if you want to challenge it in court, this is how you do that, and uh, just stop those stop signs. And I didn't say anything to him. If I had to do it over again, I'd, I'd say something to him. I'd say something to him before he went back to his car, and I'd be like, you know, I stopped, like, I'd be like, oh, who blew the stop sign? Because I stopped. Which I... I did, like... And I was behind the store. I didn't know how he seen me. <coughs> so I got a nice little $203 fine. I got freaking pay. Although, the thing is, he screwed up the date. It was February 6th, I want to say. And he put down February 2nd. And then also, you're supposed to mark, like... Uh, You're supposed to mark um, what you, so there's like what you're driving. So there's automobile, bicycle, walking. There's a couple other ones, and he didn't check what box I was driving. So I don't know. I'm debating fighting it, but I don't want to pay for a lawyer because you're not gonna. That's not doing anything. So I'm wondering if I just go to like court myself and kind of say like I'm not. Cause if I go myself, I'm not gonna lose anything. They're not gonna increase the the ticket price, the worst that happens is they say, oh, no, that you don't have any, we're not going to uh, say you don't have to pay the ticket or we're not going to decrease it. So then I just leave with the same fine. That's the worst that happens. So I don't know. I'm kind of debating it, but I might just pay it. I'm not really too sure yet, though. Just, I don't know, I just can't believe that. It's just so boggling. You blew the stop sign. No, I'm afraid I didn't. <coughs> <coughs> I'm afraid I did stop and look both ways, Mr. Cop.
Well, I'll do one more scoop after this one, and then that'll be it for this episode. So, yeah, the plan is next episode we'll I'll sell the rest of the silage. That should get me to at least two hundred thousand, probably more. And then selling the combine and stuff should almost get me to three, and selling the wool should get me another pretty decent amount. So I'll make sure I have enough money for next episode. Next episode will actually start off by selling the wool. <coughs> and then that should be enough money to buy the combine and stuff and I'll make sure I fast forward so that all the sunflowers are grown for next episode. And then next episode we'll start into our first sun for my first ever sunflower harvest. I've never done sunflowers like as mods or anything before so it'll be our first sunflower harvest so we'll be working on that next episode and then that will probably go on for a few episodes, probably, yeah, I don't know, a few, we'll see. But yeah, that's what you can look forward to next episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and uh, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys next episode.